Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new to my channel because I know there's been quite a few of you since I've last done a sit down video or a haul or anything like that, anything besides a vlog which I've been doing a lot of. So I hope you guys do enjoy those but I'm really happy to be back doing some sit down videos while I'm on holidays and of course the first one had to be a haul because I love filming hauls and I love shopping and I love clothes and all things fashion so that's what today's video is all about. So I'm going to be showing you a collective haul of things I've bought probably in the last month to two months, all specific just for this winter season. Um, if you guys aren't from Australia, we're literally smack bang in the middle of winter because middle of year of the year means the middle of winter for us and I get really cold and I'm a really cold person so I need lots of warm clothes when I leave the house and when I'm in my house too because my house is freezing. But that's the reason behind today's video and I also just have a really bad online shopping addiction so I'm going to be showing you lots of different things. I've got tops, bottoms and shoes to show you and they're pretty much all online purchases which brings in my collaboration. So as you would have noticed in the title, um, the video says featuring Shopback which is my collaboration for this video and Shopback is basically like an online, it's a website and an app actually. I have the app as well on my phone, I'll show you later. But um, it's an online platform that is partnered with over, I think it's 500 stores um, that we can shop at in Australia, anywhere around the world. And really big stores too. So they've got like Sephora, the iconic, the glue, glue store, the glue store, I don't know, glue store. Um, what else do they have? They have Princess Polly, they have Beginning Boutique, they have all the shops that I shop at online. And they even have other stuff, not just fashion stuff. They've got travel, they've got like Woolies and like all those online like food places. Um, what else they have? They've got electronics and they've got like eBay and places like that. Literally every possible online shop that you could ever think of. And basically it's like a cashback service. So shop back means when you shop you get cash back for shopping. And that's pretty much all it is. I will show you my account later on when I show you the stuff that I bought using shop back. So I can show you exactly how it works and that it does work because it's so, so awesome. And I don't know why I wouldn't have done it sooner. Anyway, let's just jump straight into the haul. So the first things I'm going to show you are actually two pairs of shoes that I bought. And these are kind of like my winter essential staple pairs of shoes for winter. And the first one is a pair of white sneakers. They are very overexposed in this lighting. They're not even on the right sides. <laughs> but that's what they look like. And then the back has the... That's like a pinkish rose gold colour in real life. I'm trying to get it to focus but yeah they look like that and I've always wanted some cute little white sneakers and these are the best and actually I will PSA to everyone because I highly regret not setting these back and exchanging for a smaller size because I'm always a size 9 in shoes very occasionally a 10 like my school shoes are a 10 but everything else is a 9 is a 9 and these are a 9 but they are literally like a whole size maybe two sizes too big and I was stupid and I'm an impulse person, so impulsive person and I really wanted to wear these as soon as I got them so I didn't exchange them and I got a size 9 thinking they'd be my size but they're really big so highly recommend going down a size because these run very large. Other than that they are really cute and as you can tell I've already worn them quite a few times but yeah if they get dirty you can also just like wipe them with like baby wipes or something which is what I've done for this video. <laughs> Next I got some black boots which I also have wanted for a long time because the only other black boots I've had I think were from factory when I was like 13 or 14 and they're just not the cutest anymore so I got rid of those and I got some really cute little stylish ones they've got quite a chunky like large heel I'm not sure how high they are but they're quite heeled and the elastic which I love how it's got like the ribbed detailing and they're not super stretchy but like they're easy to get on with that elastic and these are the brand Lipstick. I just dropped the other one, by the way. <laughs> these are the brand Lipstick. And I actually cannot remember where I got them from. I bought them online. But I remember I was tossing up between heaps of different shops to, like, get the best deal. And I know there's stocks about Princess Polly and Glue store, but I can't remember which one I got them from. Oh, also the Lacoste shoes are from... I can't remember either. Either Glue, Platypus or Hype. I can't remember. <laughs> Literally whenever I online shop, I have like three or four different tabs open of the same thing just like at different stores to see like where I can get the best discount or like wherever's like cheapest and like has my size. So life hacks. 
Next, I'm going to show you my jeans that I got this winter. I got two pairs. I got black and a blue. First off, the black ones are the brand Ziggy Denim, which is, I think, going to be my favorite brand of jeans and, like, of denim because I really like the um, stretch in them. They're the stretchiest and softest, comfiest jeans that I've ever tried on and, like, owned. And I have these in white that I bought last winter and they're still like in absolute perfect condition. They're so comfy, so soft. So I got the exact same ones in black and I just, I love them so much. Did I mention they're skinny jeans by the way? Both of these are skinny jeans because I love skinny jeans and I think they're really flattering and really comfy and warm. And yeah, that's those ones. Obviously you'll be watching the try on clip pretty much right now. So don't have much to say about them. They're really comfy, really cute. Um, a little bit. I was going to say a little bit expensive, but they're actually probably not compared to other jeans. They're $100, like $99 for most of the Ziggy denim jeans, which is probably cheaper than a lot of other of the like big high-end kind of denim brands, which is really good. And I got those. I actually got those in store. Those were from Universal, which is one of my favorite like bricks and water stores. Next are my blue skinny jeans, which are the brand A brand. And I honestly would have got Ziggy ones as well, but I didn't really see any blue ones online I don't know if I just like they just were out of stock or whatever and I also really like this style and look of the A brand ones and I really wanted to own a pair of A brand jeans because I have the shorts like in summer I wear the A brand denim shorts and I love them so I thought I'd get skinny jeans from A brand and I have to say I would probably stay away from getting skinny things from A brand just because their denim isn't as stretchy as Ziggy and just isn't very stretchy at all which is kind of not the best in skinny jeans. I know a lot of girls have mum jeans from A brand and they're so cute. And obviously my shorts from A brand I absolutely love because they're not like skinny. Um, but yeah, I still absolutely love these. I love the little like detail on the back and the A on the front there. And they fit really nicely, but I did actually have to go a size up now that I say that. They fit nicely, but like I had to go, I had to get a 10, I think, which isn't a size up to me at all because I am an in-between size. But A brand come in in between sizes. So usually I'm like somewhere between an 8 or a 10 and like it depends on the pants and like what style they are. But they actually do have size 9. So all my Ziggy denim jeans are size 9. And But these I tried on a size 9 and they were way too small. Like could not get them over my thighs. So I had to get a 10 just in case you're wondering if we're in between sizes, go a size up in A brand jeans. Actually, while I'm like still kind of on the topic of my A brand jeans, I got those from Glue Store by the way. And Glue Store is one of the stores that I've shopped at with Shopback. And basically, I'm going to show you guys my little Shopback account. Um, oh wow. On the app, where is it? The app looks like this. Wow, this is really bad at focusing. And you scroll through. There's all the categories there. And then down below is like all of the stores and things if you go across. Um, after you pick a category, obviously. So I'll read you some of the popular ones. At the moment, Uber has cashback, Deliveroo has 10% cashback, eBay always has 1% cashback, I think. We've got Booking.com, The Iconic has 7%, we've got Chemist Warehouse, what else is popular at the moment? Apple has 1.5% cashback, Sephora has 7%, Cotton On has 11.5% at the moment, that's pretty good. Got glue, which is 6.3, Shopo 5.6, there's Bonds, what else have we got? ASOS, a whole bunch of different things. And basically, Shopback is like a cashback system where you just shop online like usual, but you go through their website and just click on whatever store you like. And that way, they kind of can track if you actually buy anything and how much you spend at your checkout. And then within 48 hours, whatever the percentage is, obviously, like I just said, Glue Store was like 6.3. So 6.3% of whatever you spent at Glue Store will appear in your Shopback account within 48 hours it is. And then after a period of time, I think it's up to 60 days, it will then turn into actual cash back, which you can transfer into your PayPal account. And it takes that long because obviously it appears in your shop back account, so it's definitely yours. But it takes that long to transfer into real money because it's the actual companies like Glue Store and other shops like that that pay shop back for sending their customers to their shop, if that makes sense. So it takes a while for the all the companies to pay shop back and then to pay you. But that's pretty much how it works. It's as simple as that. They're just it's just like advertising and marketing, but they're sharing some of the commission they get with their customers. 
It was actually quite funny how Shopback reached out to me for this collaboration because I had just watched another influencer's video and it was on, it wasn't a haul, it was like on saving money and she does online shop quite a bit. Um, and it was, yeah, her tips to save money and she uses Shopback all the time and she had a like a, a link to get like a bonus when you sign up. So I've got that bonus on my account at the moment actually. I think I've got, how much have I got? I've got $15.51 in my um, Shopback account. It just hasn't been transferred into my bank account yet because it hasn't been 60 days. But um, yeah, I got that bonus when I signed up with her link and now I have my own link because Shopback actually emailed me that night after I'd watched that video, which was so funny because I was like, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'd, be, I'd love to do one of those videos because I've just signed up. <laughs> so you guys can sign up too with my link and I'll put everything else down below because I don't actually know what the bonus is yet, but it'll be all in the description box below. And yeah, I can honestly tell you guys it is something I do use and actually started using from watching another YouTuber's video and I've made two orders with Shopback. One was the glue store blue jeans that I just showed you and I actually made a mistake with those which I want to share with you guys so you learn from my mistakes. But um, you cannot, the only thing with Shopback is you cannot use a discount code in the checkout. you just got to be like just not full price because you can use, you can um, purchase sale items but it's just got to be the price that it already is on the shop. Like you can't use any discount codes or anything once you get to the checkout, which is fine because while after I learned from my mistake from purchasing the jeans because I did use a discount code and I was like, why isn't my cash back there? I emailed them. It was all fine. They just said I used a discount code when I shouldn't have. And I was like, fair enough. So I didn't get my cash back there, but I ordered my new lighting, which I'm very excited about and I'm using it right now today for the first time. Um, I ordered my lights from eBay and they pretty sure they always have a 1% cash back on eBay just because it's such a big store and they have their own like individual sellers on there whereas all the other brands and shops have a larger percentage and it also fluctuates like the glue store won't always have 6% sometimes it'll be 10 sometimes it'll be 5 whatever but um yeah eBay had a 1% cash back so I was like I might as well try it I'm gonna buy the lights anyway so I got like 50 cents because they cost me $50 so there's 50 cents in there which obviously isn't a lot but if you online shop a lot if you um, make quite expensive purchases online, it can really make a difference and I highly recommend. So next I'm going to move on to tops and jumpers and the first two I have to show you are both from Cotton On. They're just long sleeve tees in different colours, like the exact same thing. I think they're called the Baby Tee from Cotton On and they're just part of their basics range. It was two for $20 in that range. They're both a size small and this one is like a grey and white stripe which I absolutely love I think this one's so nice with the tan even though it's winter I know but like I still fake tan <laughs> and then the other one is a navy and white stripe that's a little bit thinner and I don't like this one as much just because I'm much prefer wearing light colors which I'm sure you guys might have noticed but I still like this one just for casual everyday wear next I got like a sweater top kind of thing from Princess Polly which I am so in love with. I'll show you guys just here, but I'll show you the try-on portion obviously as well, which would be a lot better. But the colors in this are absolutely stunning. I love baby pink, baby blue, mustard, all of those kind of colors and the navy in it as well. Oh, it just, it looks so nice. And I love, like the lighter pastel colors make it bright enough for me to wear it. And also the sleeves have like thinner straps down the arm, which is actually quite flattering and like makes it look a little bit less boxy I guess you could say and this top is I don't think you could wear anything under it but it's more of a sweater material so it's a lot warmer than say those other thin long sleeves that I showed you and it is so so nice soft and pretty and I got that one in a size 8 from Princess Polly. Next I have a Wrangler jumper which is this one here and first off I want to say in the try and clip you're probably going to notice that there are holes in this jumper and when I first ordered this I ordered this like quite a while ago it's one of the first things I bought for winter when Pepper Mayo were having a sale I got this from Pepper Mayo I'm pretty sure but um when I opened it I was like oh my god something like there's been like moths in the packet or something like there's a hole in it and then I noticed there were holes all over it and I was like what on earth is it meant to be like this or has there literally been like moths eating in it and then I noticed they were like really specifically placed like they're all over the front and a couple like in the top and then I looked on the Pepper May Instagram and the one like that the model was wearing on the Instagram also had holes in it. So if you order this and you freak out because there's holes in it, 
they're actually meant to be there. Like, even though they just look like little moth holes that, like, moths have eaten your jumper. They're meant to be there, if you're wondering. Other than that, I think it's... Oh, I just bumped the camera, sorry. Other than that, I think it is such a cute little sweater. It's got the red Wrangler logo. Usually, I don't love red, but this is quite a soft, um, like, faded kind of red. And this one is perfect for Brisbane weather as well, because... It is kind of a bit of a looser, it's a cropped sweater, but it's a little bit looser fit. So you can wear a shirt underneath if it is really cold and then like take it off, obviously. But it's also fine to just wear it with nothing underneath and just as a normal top, which is what I've done before as well. So I'm onto my last item sitting in my little haul pile. I'm actually really confused. I thought I had a lot more to show you guys and I felt like I bought a lot more. But it's probably just because I've spent a lot of money on clothes lately. But this one is actually my cheapest like budget find that I found and I've never bought Kmart clothes before in my life and as you guys know I'm obsessed with Kmart. All of that stuff in the background is from Kmart, literally every single thing and all of my room decor is from Kmart, everything is from Kmart, I love Kmart. But I've never bought clothes from there and I went it out into the world of Kmart clothes just the other week and I got this adorable pink sweater which I actually don't think is meant to be oversized. As you can tell, it's quite baggy on me. But that's because I bought a size 12. It was literally the only one just like sitting by itself in a random like aisle. Um, and I couldn't find any like other ones. But I'm quite happy with the size I got. So usually I'm a size 8 in like all tops. Um, but yeah, I got a size 12 and it's a really cute oversized look. It On the writing, it's got do your own thing in like a cute little print. And yeah, I just don't think it looks cheap at all. And obviously it's in my favourite colour. And yeah, I'm really happy with this find from Kmart. So that is everything for my winter haul this year, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to sus subscribe if you haven't already. I'll make sure to link all the clothes and shoes and things that I bought down below. None of this video is sponsored by any of those shops, by the way. They're all just like my favorite shops to shop at. Um, but of course, I'm collaborating with Shopback and I'll also leave all their information down below as well as my sign up bonus that you guys can get if you use the link. So that is everything guys. I will see you in my next video very, very shortly. Bye.